Hey, you guys. How are you guys? I'm going to wait for a few more people to come in. I hope you guys had a great week. I posted a question at the top. Make sure you let me know how your week has been going. We're going to get started in just a few moments. All right, so for those of you that are tuning in for the very first time, I am Latersa Blakely, and I usually talk a lot about self-care, hygiene, and life advice. So if those things are something that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your bell notifications so that you won't miss another episode. If you are already a part of the family, welcome back. So today's topic, we are going to be sharing with you at least 15 ways on how you can make your home smell good. I did a poll and most of you guys said you wanted to see, um, um, have me share some of my tips with you guys, which I'm super thrilled to do so. So before we get started, uh, let me know in the comments, how was your week? How was your week? Like I said, this is a fun, a loving place. It's nothing to be, I don't know. This is a no judgment zone um, community here. We're all growing together. So let me know how your week has been. And also, um, um, oh, I just lost my train of thought. It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. Um, but the first, the first tip on how you can make your home smell good is um, 
the first and most important one of all of these is to deep clean your house, like mop, dust, um, open windows. Because if you stay in an apartment like me, or even if you stay in a house, you, sometimes you need to let some fresh air in. Um, open your windows up, um, dust your blinds off, because y'all know little dust bunnies, they be everywhere. Um, and when I deep clean mop my floors, I like to use this because it kills um, bacteria as well. So it's either this, Mr. Clean. I use this and mop all my hardwood floors. But what I've been learning, oh, uh, maybe y'all can help me out. But on hardwood floors, because I am on a bottom deck in my apartment building, but it just seemed like my floors stay kind of mist or something. It stays kind of, I don't know, it feels as if like it's wet or something. I don't know. And this is way after I've mopped and deep cleaned and did all of that. But I don't know what that is. But usually I deep clean, deep mop um, at least once every two weeks. Um, and throughout that, to keep it kind of clean, I use my Swiffer Jet um, to just kind of, you know, freshen up the floors or do a little, you know, just a little spot cleaning throughout the week. So that's number one. Make sure you deep clean your house because I'm telling you, your house can have so many smells in it. It is crazy how little bitty stuff can keep your home smelling good, whether you got stinky laundry, whether your garbage disposal hasn't been refreshed or cleaned out or it's stopped up. Um, you can have um, bathroom issues if you're not cleaning your bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I t I'm, I'm like this. I did my deep cleaning the other day, but yeah, so, um, but you can get all types of smells in your house. And I'm telling y'all, them smells be foul. So deep cleaning is one that I recommend at least once every two weeks. That's when you take the blinds, you dust it off, dust mop, you wipe down your furniture, you know, all that good stuff. And then the second way um, to make your home smell good is clean out your garbage disposal. And this is what I use. And I didn't bring everything, but... I use baking soda and I use a vinegar and I pour this down the garbage disposal at least um, at least once a week y'all because that garbage disposal the more food you put down in that garbage disposal it gets funky because I remember one day last week I think it was the week my mom was here and I kept saying the kitchen something in here is stinking and it was the garbage disposal sometimes you gotta check like put a flashlight down in there because sometimes all that food don't grind up together and it just be sitting there and you be wondering where the smell coming from and that's where the smell be coming from so I take and when I don't have vinegar, which I run out a lot lately, because I use vinegar and baking soda for a lot of stuff. But when I run out of vinegar and baking soda, I take an orange, cut it up into some cubes, or a lemon and cut it up some cubes. And I run the garbage disposal with hot water and I put that down in there. It, it makes your garbage disposal smell so much fresher. I'm telling you, it's the little stuff that have them scents be corroded in your, your place, whether it's apartment or house. I'm telling you, if you don't keep them little bitty areas clean, you'll be lighting candles and thinking your house smell good, but you'll walk past some a certain place in your house and you get a whiff of something. So make sure you're cleaning your garbage disposal. Let that hot water run, that vinegar, baking soda, um, let those orange peels, lemon peels run in there because it'll bring that citrus spell. And another thing I do with my garbage disposal, while the hot water is running, I sprinkle a little essential oil in there. Because I'm telling you, whatever you need to do, and some people say that's just doing the most, but hey... When you want your home to smell good, because your home is your sanctuary. You don't want to be in your home and it's stinky. And then a lot of times, because you're so immune to your own scent, it, you don't think nothing's wrong. But let some company come over. Oh, they'll tell you. That's another reason why I like to have my air on year round. I don't really run my heat that much. Um, I run it, but I'd rather it be cold in the house than hot because hot heat brings up more fumes and more odors and all of that stuff. So I like it. To, I'd rather for it to be cold and mild than to be warm because I'm telling you, you can have dirty socks close to a vent. You can have all types of stuff, you guys. And it's just crazy how little stuff can make your house smell bad. And then number three is... Lysol your doorknobs, your handles, anything that you're touching, Lysol that at least once a week. Clean it out because 
you know with everything that's going on in the world you can't have enough lysol so keep you some lysol um lysol um around your house and i even have my mom sent me a lot of um the little travel size i have these in my uh, let me find it y'all <laughs> Girl, you call yourself getting a smaller purse and still can't find stuff. Um, I keep these in my purse. So when I'm out and about touching doorknob handles in the bathrooms and all that stuff, I keep these. But you can get the big one and just Lysol your handles, doorknobs, your bathroom, you know, where you touch the stool, flush the stool. Use your Lysol to get rid of germs or whatever. You can use the off-brand. It doesn't matter. Whatever kind of... Um, disinfect stuff you have to get the um to get the germs and stuff away and then the fourth thing is make sure you're washing your bed linens i always say once a week because i'm just i just i don't know it's just been a habit for me for years i wash my bed stuff at least every sunday um you can do it bi-weekly because i know my parents said when i was growing up they did it every two weeks but when you don't wash your bed linens that keeps your bedroom smelly because you know everybody's sweating they sleep you know it's your bed you know so you got night night scent whatever the case may be if you're not washing your sheets and your pillowcases properly that can be another reason why your home is smelling especially your bedroom and if you're like me and you have a master bedroom a master bathroom you got to make sure you're keeping that bathroom clean because notice the bathroom is a part of your bedroom and if you're not keeping your bed linens and stuff like that clean it's not gonna it's i'm telling you guys it's it's gonna make your bedroom stink and and what i do i told you i use vinegar for everything vinegar keeps out them foul odors you um y'all know i love my unstoppable and i'm gonna show you what i do with these in a minute and these right here i, show, I said i was gonna show you what i do with these but make sure you're washing your bed linens how often once a week twice a week i mean once a week once every two weeks however way you wash it but make sure you're keeping your bed linen clean because that can keep odor in your bedroom as well it's it's amazing how the little stuff can keep your house stinky and because you live in the house you've gotten used to it or you've gotten immune to the smell but if somebody outside come in your house oh they'll smell it and then the next thing is what i do when i run out of air freshener or when i run out of candles and all of this what i do is i take a pot and i put i boil the water and i put like some mint leaves in there i put orange peels or lemon peels uh, and then i add a few drops of essential oil i'm telling y'all that will have your house smelling good and then too, do that right before a company come up they'd be like girl your house smell good but ain't nobody gotta know you just lit that pot like 20 minutes ago but that aroma from the essential oil and the mint leaves and the the lemon peels and the orange peels it has a citrus smell and then i usually put like vanilla essential oil or citrus essential oil in the pot and let it boil just bring it to a boil and leave it sitting on your stove now don't do what i did I was cleaning one day and I forgot I put the boiling pot of water on the stove with my centrally. Girl, how about my pot burned all the way? Because the stuff that was in it, it was black. My lemon peels, my orange peels, everything I had in that pot was black because I forgot. I'm down in the, I'm, I'm down in my room cleaning my bathroom and got my music playing and I'm in my zone, in my cleaning zone. And girl, I kept smelling. I said, something, something sure is burning. But I still, I forgot. I had forgot I even put the doggone thing on. So don't do that. If you're going to put that pot on, make sure you in there so you can watch it. Because I'm telling you, I was in the back cleaning. And, and you know when you cleaning, you got your music on, you in that cleaning mode, you cleaning good. Girl, I forgot the stuff was even on the stove until I heard the fire extinguisher go off. So make sure if you're going to put that stuff on the stove, make sure you're in there to watch it. And then my next tip on how you can make your home smell good, um, carry the trash out daily. I know at my apartment, they have a trash ballet. They come Monday through Thursday, but then on the weekends, they don't come again until Sunday. So I like to take my... Um, trash out every time it get like halfway full and then in the bottom of um 
in the bottom of the trash can, I use something like this and I put a bunch of um, unstoppables or if I don't have unstoppables, y'all know I use my arm and hammer. So I put this and I put some of these in the bottom of the trash can so it can still have a good smell to it, even though it's trash in there. At the bottom of the trash can, not the bag, at the bottom of the trash can, I have the, um, the, um, hey, 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 um, Julia, I purchased my essentials oils from Amazon. I, um, once this is over with, I leave a link, um, to the essential oil that I got, but you can get essential oils from, well, I, I'm I'm kind of picky about the essential oils I use. I don't use all of them, but sometimes you can find essential oils at your Whole Foods stores. You can find them at uh sometimes they have them at TJ Maxx too. I've seen sets of them, but I like the vanilla and the citrus kind. Yeah, I got the citrus one from Target, uh Julie. Yeah. So look check your Target if you have a Target and um they have um they have the uh, citrus essential oil. Look over there with the candle section. That's where I got that one from. And then my vanilla one, I got that one from Amazon along with the frankincense. I got those from Amazon. But yeah, that essential oil, you put some few drops on uh, cotton balls and put the essential oil, throw them in your trash bag when before you put trash in there. It'll keep your trash... It'll keep that scent down and try to make sure you have a trash can that has a lid on it. Because if you just got that trash out in the opening, girl, you'd be surprised all the smells that accumulate together. And then don't even mention the trash can, the trash that come out of your bathrooms. That stuff stink. You have to make sure you're washing your trash cans out. You got to make sure you're washing your trash cans out of the bathroom. Because I'm telling you, the ones that use the bathroom, them trash bags be funky. And you got to wash that trash can out at least once a week. And then make sure you're changing your bag. Like I said, I don't like to keep trash in the house. So even though I don't really take the trash out, that's my son's um, chore. But like if I'm in a cleaning mood and he's at school or something, I pick it up and put it in the trash can outside my door so the uh, trash ballet people can pick it up. Because I'm telling you, that trash will have your house funky. Everything will be clean in the house. But if you got some tr stinky trash... Girl, that trash. Ooh, it'll give you a headache. And then um um for my towels to stay fresh. Y'all comment below and let me know if this is this happened to y'all. Y'all know the pantry where you put your towels at. For some reason, it always have a different smell in there. And I'm telling you, you can clean it out and everything. But that linen closet, it always have its own smell. So what I do is I take dryer sheets. And I didn't bring any in here. But I take dryer sheets and I place, I cut them like in three strips. And I place them in between my towels when I fold them up. So when you pull a towel out, that freshness will hit you. Like your towels will be fresh. So if you got one towel folded, in between that one, put a dryer sheet. Then fold another one. In between that, put a dryer sheet. Because for some reason, that dog on linen closet, it's almost like when your stuff is stored away or packed down. It has its own smell. A smell that I don't really like. So, um, and then another thing you could do is, Put your stoppables, and I'm going to show y'all. I brought this in here. Um, you could get these little bags from Walmart in the cake bakery section, or you can get them at Michael's. You can get them at the at the Dollar Tree. Ooh, that smells so good. And you just pour a little bit. You pour a little bit, and you, you tighten it up like this. And you can set these everywhere. You can set these in the bottom of your sofa, your love seat. You can set these in the bottom of your car. I know we ain't talking about car, but you can set these up under the bottom of your car, which I'm probably going to do. You can set these up under your mattress. You can set these um, in your linen closet. Just throw a couple in there. You can also set these um, in between your pillows on your sofa. I think I said that one. And you can put these in your drawers to keep your clothes fresh. So I think what I'm going to do over the weekend is go and buy some more of these little bags and put some all over my house in my kids' closets, in my kids' drawers. And it smells good because these little sachet things, they, they real airy. They got little holes in them. So this right here will keep stuff fresh. And then, too, what I do, I take my dryer sheets and 
I rub it across my my chairs to my dining table. I rub it across my uh, drapes when I had some. I don't have drapes up. I don't really do drapes. But I rub it across my sofa. Because when my mom was here, she kept asking, baby, what are you doing with them dryer sheets? I said, mama, that's how I freshen up my sofa and stuff. When I don't have, um, I didn't bring anything. When I don't have Febreze and I run out, here, here's another tip. Get you one of these water bottles. This one already has warm water and vinegar in it, but you can get this same bottle from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Take you some Unstoppables and some water and put it in here, and that's your homemade air freshener. Freshen up your drapes, freshen up your, your bedding when you make your bed up, freshen up just air freshener, freshen up your sofa and all that. So these are just my little tips that I do at the house. Like I said, if y'all can feel free to share your tips, uh, ask your questions, but it has helped and like i said i've been experimenting for a while now because i'm telling you your house it's your sanctuary and you want your house to smell good whether company is coming or not you want to be in a smell good type of environment and then the next one is i use these potpourri bags remember i told y'all i got these from bed bath and beyond and this thing smells so good so these little things right here, you can take these and put these in between your clothes and your drawers. Or you can, um, uh, I'm trying to see where do I have it. I think I have it. Hold on, hold on, you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right. Okay. Okay. See, this was hanging up in my closet because y'all know I turned my closet into an office, but these little bags right here they are air purifying bag the charcoal bamboo i got these in a set of eight from amazon hey how are you and you hang these up and it 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 gives the it keeps the motor not motor jesus it it helps to purify the air in there and it it keeps the moisture down out of your closet so these i got these from amazon um yeah they came in a pack of like eight so yeah, I got these as well. Um, let me see. Let me put this back up. But I'll put that back up afterwards. But I got that. And like I said, um, you can take these same little things. And I think what I'm going to do is open it up. Well, now I can't open it up. But I'm going to put these in between my drawers. And probably give one to my um, son too, to put in between his drawer. But they smell so good. you got, And this was actually on clearance. I think I got about... Got three for like two bucks. They was on clearance at Bed Bath & Beyond. But that's another tip to keep your clothes, you know, keep your home smelling good. Like I said, you can put these in between your sofas, in between your uh, love seat. You can put these in the bottom of your trash can. Uh, and like I said, you can throw these in your laundry, you know, you know, when you fold them up and get ready to put them up. Put these little bags in between there and I'm telling you, it will keep your stuff smelling fresh and you ain't got to pay an arm and a leg. You know, you see what I'm saying? And then the next one is um, when you vacuum your floor, put a couple of drops of essential oil. You know how you open your, your vacuum cleaner up and it has that little padded thing? I know my my um my vacuum cleaner has the little... Um, the little cushion part when you open it up and you got to empty the thing out it's a little cushion right on top i sprinkle a couple drops of essential oil so when i'm vacuum you smell that good aroma and then what i usually do is these right here y'all know i love my little purex or arm and hammer little scent boosters and i take this and i sprinkle it all over my carpet and i vacuum with them because i'm out of my arm and hammer and then just the other day if y'all saw my last video when I got some cleaning stuff and hygiene products, um, I got this OxyClean because y'all know I love Arm & Hammer and it's extra strength carpet odor eliminator. So I got this and I sprinkle this all in my floor and when I vacuum my floor, it smells heavenly. But y'all know I always have a substitute for everything. If you don't have the Arm & Hammer scent boosters, if you don't have the carpet freshener, Baking soda draws out odor just the same. You can sprinkle this all over your floor, vacuum it, and you'll have some freshness. You can even do that in your car, which I probably pay my son to make some extra money to clean mommy's car out because 
that ain't something I really want to do right now and that I can't do really. But those are some things that you can do. And then, um, like I said, these things work really good. It keeps your carpet fresh. And I'm thinking about going to, y'all know how they have like in Home Depot, you can, you can rent that thing, rent the carpet cleaner for like $29. I think I'm going to do that because I've been in my apartment now for going on two years. And I, I want my carpets clean. I wanted to do it while my mom was here so so she can do it. <laughs> uh, but um, um, I think I'm going to do that because, like I said, even when I do get ready to leave out of this apartment, I want my deposit back. And so I don't want no excuse for me not to be able to get my deposit back. So I think I'm going to go do a deep, get rent that thing and do a deep clean. Like I said, my carpets don't get that dirty, but the one in my son's room, that's on a whole other level. But um, deep cleaning your carpets. So yeah, you can rent you can rent them deep cleaning and vacuum them carpet cleaners from, like I know Kroger's used to do it because when I was back home with my parents, you could rent it from Kroger's or... And then I just found out recently you can rent the carpet cleaner from um, Home Depot as well. Or Lowe's, one of them. Yeah, so that's that. Um, and then my next one is, like I, I always jump ahead of myself, I use these things. That's why I can't I can't keep them in the house long because I usually pick these up at uh, Walgreens when they be buy one, get one free or buy one, get two free. I usually stock up on them because I know I use a lot of them. And you can even vacuum with these. I did this before. I learned, I think I learned a lot of these tips when I used to be a housekeeper and I lived in a hotel for it. So y'all didn't know that. I used to be a housekeeper at a hotel. And when I tell you that was the hardest work I did, cleaning up behind people. I had all kind of tricks in that hotel. They used to call me the smile and smell good lady because I would vacuum with these scent boosts, these unstoppables. I would sprinkle that all up and down the halls and vacuum. And every time guests came in the hotel, they'd be like, oh, it smells so good. This hotel ain't never smelled that good. And everybody be like, that that girl, that lady right there, she keep it smelling fresh. You can tell when she's working because it smells really good. So I'm just get creative. It, it's not going to hurt anything to sprinkle these on the floor and vacuum it up. But it'll really um, do really well with the scent boosters because, like I said, they're smaller than the Unstoppables. But they all, they smell so good, you guys. I'm telling you, try this and let me know how y'all like it. Because I'm telling you, sprinkle it on there and then go on about your business and clean something else. And then vacuum. It's the most nice smelling scent ever. I'm telling you, 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 you it just makes you happy to walk in your house and it smells good. I mean, it, I don't know no other way to say it. But it's with anything. When you when your environment smells good, it makes you it makes you feel better. To me, y'all let me know what y'all think, but it makes me feel better when I can walk into my home and it smells good. And then the next one is I hang air fresheners in my vents, and I think I'm gonna get this one down. This is one. This is my favorite car air freshener. That's what they are car air freshener this is the vanilla one and i hang these in all of my closets i hang these in my car i hang these um the one in my vents um i use the car um uh, for you know the car game plug-in things that you can um push in your air freshener in the car i stick those in my vents to you know when the air is on you can smell it but i stick those in my vent in the bathroom in my room all the vents in the house has one of those plug in i think it's time for me to change them out but it keeps your house smelling really good along with the plug-ins along with the um like i said i usually have um candles lit but y'all know i like my candle all doggone day long and i don't have them long so it's like i'm getting frustrated because <laughs> I can't keep a candle in my house to save my life because I always. Yeah, you probably will be going back to Walmart. Check Walgreens too because, you know, they be having to buy one, get two free. So, um, because last week that's when I stocked up on these. So, yeah, um, those things that stick in your car, and the little air fresh, I put them in my vents in my house. And when I tell y'all when that air come on, that vent. You know, that air be coming, that scent be coming out, and it smells so doggone good, y'all. I'm telling you, I've been trying this stuff for years, and 
especially when I was working at the hotel, that's when I was getting creative because, you know, you want to stand out when you're a housekeeper. You don't want to do everything everybody else is doing. So, uh, but yeah, and then here's another one I bet you y'all didn't know. Put vinegar in the back of your toilet. You know how you take the lid off your toilet? They say let all the water um, drain out. Nah, I ain't got that good yet. But what I do is I pour like a half a thing like this right here. I pull this in the back of my toilet and let it soak and then flush it. And that keeps it smelling good. And then another one to clean your toilet bowl when you ain't got the, um, hold on, you guys. Let me go get it. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. All right, y'all. So, I'm back. So, okay. So, to clean the toilet bowl, y'all probably going to laugh at me. But this is what I usually use. But when I run out, y'all know I take the Unstoppables and put it in some warm water. And that's my air freshener. But when you don't have stuff like this to clean your... And by the way, I just bought this the other day. And I bought it because I usually use Fantastic. But Fantastic, for some reason, that bleach has my head hurting really bad. So, I tried this one. It's the Clorox Centivia Disinfectant Multi-Surface Cleaner Tahitian Grapefruit Splash. You can't hardly smell the bleach in it. You smell the grapefruit more. But it kills 99% of germs, including the COVID-19 virus. So, I've used this twice this week. I know that's kind of sad. But I've cleaned my both of my bathrooms with this, and I love it. I like this. So, this is going to take the place of my... Um, my fantastic because for the last month or so my head's been hurting so i had to let that one go i had to let that go it ain't it ain't that serious to be walking around with a doggone headache and so i use that and then the next one to keep your toilet bowls clean when you run out of this right here for all y'all that know about kool-aid what y'all know about kool-aid i take some kool-aid packages and I pour them in my stool and I clean my stool. And it leaves it not only clean, but it leaves it smelling good. Because that little acid part in the Kool-Aid, it cleans the toilet too. So, go try that one out. Try that one and thank me later now. Thank me later. But you know, Kool-Aid package is like $0.10, cents, 10 for a dollar. I don't know how much they are, but I remember back in the day, we used to drink Kool-Aid like juice. You know, in our house, you know, Kool-Aid was the thing. Mama make us some homemade cheeseburgers, some fries, have us a good old glass of Kool-Aid with some ice in it. You can tell us nothing. That was a treat from heaven. But Kool-Aid packages clean your toilet bowls. I'm telling you, thank me later. Let that uh, flush your stool real good. Open that Kool-Aid package up. Pour it down in there. You can get the orange flavor. I think the orange and the lemon flavor are the two that I used to use the most because it got that little citrus in there. So pour that in there and let it soak while you cleaning the rest of the, the sink and all that good stuff. Come back and clean your toilet, honey. Not only will it be clean and glistening, it's going to smell so good. And, and like I said, you can even... I'm thinking about putting some of these scent boosters in the back of the toilet as well because that toilet in the back... I was watching a video on YouTube on how to clean the back of the toilet sink. You know, where you lift it up and you draw the water out. And they, and they said, put use some citric acid. I think it's at Walmart. But I ain't tried that yet. So let me try it first. And then I'll give y'all an update. But I'm telling you, y'all use some of these tips. And y'all come in and let me know how it works for y'all. Because I want y'all house to be smelling good. I want it to be smelling like Oh, you know, when people walk in, you, you know, they be like, girl, your house smells so good. What you use? You be like, oh, girl, I use a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, you don't want to give out all your secrets. Well, I guess it's too late for that because I'm giving you all mine. But if it's going to help your house smell good, by all means, use them all. That's another one. And then the next thing I do as far as my toilets goes. I keep those little Lysol toilet um, toilet bowl things. You know, the ones you, they got a little iron wire. I don't know what you call them. 
They got a little iron wire and you clip them on the inside and every time the stew, stew flush, that little scent. So I like those Lysol ones. They have them in Walmart and I think they have them in Walgreens too. But I use those a lot as well. So every time you flush your stew, you getting a whiff. And then as we speaking about bathroom, if y'all don't have y'all a thing of potpourri, I, mean, I be talking about stuff and I don't have nothing up in here. But y'all know that poopery. Comment below if y'all know what I'm talking about. Poopery. If you go in the bathroom and you got to do more than pee, spray you some poopery before you do because it maxes the scent. I mean, I'm I'm sorry, but I don't even want to smell my own poop. So I spray it, you know, in there before I get going good. It, it helps mask the scent. So I'm telling you guys, it may sound like it's a lot that I'm telling you, but I'm telling you, um... It is it is so so refreshing to know that you don't have to sit in there and suffer <laughs> smelling your own poop. <laughs> yeah, Julie, it 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 works. I I usually keep one in my purse, but I ran out, so I put that one in my bathroom. So I got to get another. I think they make the big ones now. Um, I'm not sure, but I I want to say I saw the big one somewhere. But it's going to help you. Yeah, and you do have to spray it again, Latoya. You sure ain't lying, cause that one one couple of times ain't gonna work, especially if you got to handle, you know, like a vacation style in there. You know, you you just got to keep spraying. You know, you do what you got to do, and make sure you put that vent on because those aromas, you know, you don't want to knock yourself out on the toilet. That's not a good look, you know. But yeah, you use that potpourri, honey. I'm telling you. It, it works wonders. It's the reason why. And if you can't afford the poopery, because I do know the poopery is like 10 bucks. I do know it's expensive. They got the other kind of brands, but I've used the, the other kind of brand. I don't really like them all that hot like I do the poopery, but maybe that's just me. But use whatever you can afford. Y'all know I'm always trying to give y'all affordable ways to do uh, everything. So if you can't afford the poopery, poopery, Use the other brands because they have them in Kroger's. They have them in Walmart. They have different different brands. But like I said, my favorite is the poopery. But you use whatever your money can afford because, like I said, you know, you are, you're the only one that know what your household budget is. Nobody knows that but you. And then my next one is uh, use your fabric sheets through throughout your home. If you want to freshen your drapes up, Cut you pieces of fabric sheet, take it and, and 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 just rub it over it. Rub it over your couch. Rub it over your sofas. I mean, some of these tips, you can use them in your car as well. And, and like I said, y'all let me know uh, what other types of videos y'all want me to do. Smell goods, you know, cleaning stuff and all that. Because like I said, these videos are for you guys. I, I don't want to make videos y'all not watching because that ain't doing, that ain't helping either one of us. It's wasting my time, and then it's wasting y'all because that ain't what you want to see. But I, I'm I'm serious about this smell good stuff, y'all. I'm real serious about this smell good stuff. It ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. And then the next one is, I think I ran ahead of myself. Um, I use this for breeze throughout the house. I got one in my son's room. I, well, I don't know where it is. I, my daughter got one, and I got one. And when I wake up and make my bed up, this is the first thing I spray. But like I said... If you, if you cannot afford for breathe, get you one of these water bottles from the dollar store and put you some um put you some unstoppables in there and put you some warm water in there or you can use these cuz these smell these smell heavenly too y'all. And this is the name of the scent that I use in my car, those plug-ins, the Gain original kind, but this is the Island Fresh. And I use this and put it in some water cuz right now this is warm water and vinegar, so um, but put you some water in there and put you some unstoppable, uh, beads in there and shake it up. That's your air fresh. It's going to do the, it's going to do the same thing as this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It can go. Like I said, some of this stuff can work in your car as well. Like I said, do multi-purpose with this stuff. And like I said, you can find these things on Amazon. I think they come six or 10 in a pack. And this is like a purifying bag. It's the charcoal bamboo. And like I said, it it holds the moisture out of your closets. Because you know when your closet is full of clothes, it holds a lot of moisture. And it kind of brings all the odor out of the, the closet. So these are really good. And I just took like a, a shower curtain hook and hung it up in my closet. 
and I got one in my baby girl's closet, my son's closet, and they just they just hold the moisture out because you know moisture is where odor come from. And then, um, um, like I said, if you don't have the Febreze and if you don't have the the you can't afford some of this stuff. And like this, you know, this is good old faithful air freshener. This is a new one that I tried the other day, Joyful Citrus and Daisies. At first I was like, am I going to really like this? Because I couldn't really smell the citrus part in it because I'm not a daisies person. But I smell it in, like I said, for 97 cents, if you can't afford nothing else, this is 97 cents. And just spray this throughout your house. But I will warn you, I don't like spraying this all throughout my house because to me it just leave a, a, a smell that I don't like. But y'all all know about candles. And then for your melts, if you have a, a um, warmer in your house, I, I love to use melts as well. And then, too, you can put some of these Unstoppables in your um melt warmer. And that'll keep your house smelling good as well. So these are like all my tips that that i wrote down i said 15 but i gave you 18 i have plenty more but these will help you get started with you know getting your house to smell good like i said it doesn't hurt to try nothing new if it's not working try something else if that don't work find something until it does work for you guys because no one tip works for everybody because i think somebody has said on my video where I was showing them with the, the vinegar and the baking soda. And they was just, I guess, trying to say you don't mix baking soda and vinegar together. And I, I just politely say you do what works for you and I'll do what works for me. If it's working for you, keep doing it. If not, don't you don't have to do it. So it's no reason for you to try to go backwards and forth with me in the comments. I think that is so stupid. Like, if it doesn't work for you, just don't use it. That's all. These are just tips that I share that's been working for me. I ain't never heard of an Old Spice Unstoppables. Where that at? Cause I ain't never heard of that one. Uh uh, that ain't. This ain't no old. This ain't no um Old Spice. I didn't know Old Spice make Unstoppables. No, this is the Downy Unstoppable Downy Tide Original scent. That's what this is. Cause y'all know back in the day, um. Tide original was my number one detergent, but now it's Arm and Hammer. Uh, but I, I I look for that, but I ain't never heard of that. Maybe I'll use that in my son's room because I, I don't do a lot of scented stuff in his room because he don't like, a, you know, men don't like all that stuff. But I'll, I'll try that for his room. Um, I ain't never seen the Old Spice. You sure that's in Target? Because I be up in Target. Just as much as I do in Walmart. I never I never heard of the old spice on stop. Honey, they making everything now. <laughs> I don't think it's nothing new under the sun <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> you can't you 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 it ain't nothing that'll shock you nowadays <laughs> of what they come out with. Yeah. But let me know if y'all have any questions. Y'all got tips? What kind of tips do y'all be using to make y'all house smell good? Share with the share with the listeners. Inquiring minds want to know. Ooh, that smell good. Oh, that smell good. I'm gonna put this in my um panties drawer. Oh, that smell good. I gotta give me some more of these little bags too. But yeah, make sure y'all stop by y'all bed, bath, and beyond because these little things they smell really good. You can put them anywhere. Cause I think I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is get a bunch of these and I'm gonna put some in my car up under my up under my uh seats and stuff. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. How y'all white? Oh, Lord. How y'all white? How did y'all week go this week? I got up this morning craving for seafood, so I didn't have crab legs. I used those organza bag and sent me. Yeah, because don't your drawers and stuff be having its own scent? It be having, like, like in the linen closet, in your drawers. It just seem like stuff when it's closed in, it make its own scent. And I be like, what the hell is that? But, yeah. That um those or organza bags, yeah, those are real, those are real good. And the scent bees, yeah. Cause I'm telling you, you could wash your clothes and they be smelling fresh, but when you pack them down and fold them up in the drawers, for some reason it take on its own scent, own scent by itself. And I'd be like, I did all that washing. For what? Yeah. All right, baby, you be careful. But yeah, 
Um, by the way, Shaniqua, my middle name is Denise too. That's why we vibe a lot. Cause it's just something about Denise's. They just understand. They just understand each other. Yeah, that's what it is. But yeah, I um, I'm I um had a pretty pretty eventful week. Like I said, I ended up going to get some cleaning stuff the other day uh, from Walmart. And that's when I was sniffing these things right here. And I'm telling you, 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 it's the little bitty stuff for me that makes me happy. I'm telling you, it's the little bitty stuff. Like to walk in your home and it smells good. You smell good. It just it just puts you in a whole other space mentally. So that's why I be doing these videos because it's all about how you feel about you and your space. It's it's all about how you feel about you and your space. It's like it's like heaven to me, y'all. And I'm telling and I think what I'm gonna do is every other Friday do these videos because I be running out of topics like what kind of topics, what kind of topics y'all be wanting me to talk about every Friday? Because I be asking y'all to send me questions, but I don't get a lot of questions. It's like, I'm, I'm going to come on here and make you laugh. But it's like, what kind of topics y'all be wanting me to talk about? Because going live every Friday, I can come on here and make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I be wanting to answer you guys' question. It's kind of like... Q&A style or just having fun. Y'all let me know because, like I said, I do them every Friday, but if y'all don't send me no questions and stuff, I be on here. See, that's what's up right there, girl. The, ain't that the greatest feeling in the world? When you know when you know you're doing something right, if your hubby say the house is smelling good. Yes. Yeah. yeah it, 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 uh, it's y'all, it takes your confidence to a whole other level. When when your hubby says your house smell good, it makes it makes your it makes you it just makes your confidence level goes up. You see what I'm saying? Even if you single, if you got friends that come over, it makes you feel good to know that your space is inviting and warm and smells good. Yeah. Yeah, keeping the house clean. I'm telling my mama started me when I was a little girl. Like, when I was like three and four, she had me up in this ugly, ugly brown rocking chair. Um, making sure I learned how to cook meals and making sure I know how to sort clothes and mop and stuff. My mama was old school. So, back then, my mama got on my nerves. But now, as an adult, I understand why she did what she did. But she taught me young. You know, you got to know how to keep a house and this way before you even get married you don't want to be sitting up in no stinking house i mean if you do that's your thing but i hope not but you got you want your house to smell good not just for your future hubby or your hubby but you want it to smell good for you you want to be a clean person a warm clean person with a clean house and then when god do bless you with your husband and then like shaniko said he get to come in you like your house smell good, that just make your level go all the way up. Yeah, I'm telling you, my mama was an old and see my baby, my kids, they always be telling me like, "Mama, you do the most." I'm like, "Baby, it's going to help you in the long run cuz my kids, they know how to cook, they know how to do their own laundry, they baby cheating halfway doing it, but they keep their room clean. If they don't, they don't get no allowance money because I'm kind of that old school mama, kind of old school because you, you don't go out in the world. You ain't come in this world with somebody. And when you get out there outside of mommy mommy's house, you got to know how to, you going to eat or else you're going to get broke eating out every day. And I know you ain't going to do that. You got to know how to cook something. You got to know how to wash your clothes unless you're going to have all your clothes in there together and they all going to be, be different colors. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. See, I used to watch my dad, like, barbecue. He used to mow the lawn. My daddy even taught me how to change oil and stuff. But y'all know good and well, I ain't getting up on nobody's car. As long as I'm breathing and living in my right mind, I'm either going to pay somebody or or it's going to always be somebody else doing that because that ain't, that ain't really my cup of tea. But um, my dad, I used to watch him, like, 
take my brothers and do all kinds of stuff. And my mom would like on Mother's Day and stuff, my dad and my brothers would be out barbecuing and grilling and stuff. And me and mama would be in there. I would be in charge of desserts and, and the side things and my mom would do. So it was always, you know, my parents was always trying to teach us how to survive out there in the real world, how to keep your home clean, how to wash your own clothes because... You can't just mix white and dark together. Your white's going to come out dark too. You know, it's just little stuff like that. Uh, when you say organizing, what do you mean, Julie, organizing? Yeah, see, I I, I, I get on my kids and they always say, I, but I when you come out the shower, you pick your clothes up and put them in a the dirty clothes hamper. I, my man coming in and pick your underwear and your panties and stuff up off the floor. That's that's a rule in my house. And you're not coming out the bathroom with a towel on. You keep a robe somewhere or you bring your clothes in there to put them on. It's just little stuff like that that, you know, I'm teaching my children. Not that I know everything because I'm telling you, I learn something new every day. My children teaches me something new every day. That's why I have an open mind because I don't know everything. So it's just, you just, just a clean house. And, and y'all know the saying, cleanliness is next to godliness. Y'all know that saying. I know y'all heard that before. But when you have a clean space, it makes your mind freer mentally. Because however way your environment is, that's how your, it's a sign of your mental space. If your house is always dirty and stinky, it's, it's, it's deeper than that. It's a lot of stuff going on mentally. So you have to be aware of that too. You know, people nowadays, you know, they're starting to talk more about mental illness and mental health because when your mental space is messed up, everything else around you suffers. So it all goes hand in hand. I say it goes, it goes hand in hand. You just, you just want to, um, oh, okay. Oh, cause you know, I was thinking about organizing my stuff. Cause you know, when you get, um hygiene products and cleaning projects and you look up under your your cabinet you be like what is all this mess and i call myself organizing up under my cabinet in the bathroom but girl how about it look a hot mess right about now that may be a video coming for real because i call myself getting my little organizers from the dollar tree and had my stuff organized that's when I had kicked my daughter out of my bathroom. So her and her, 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 her and her brother were sharing the bathroom. But she soon said, Mama, I just I just rather be in your bathroom. I want him to be in there by himself because I just don't like his bathroom. And I'm like, but I don't, I don't really want you in my bathroom either. But so now it's like her stuff in there, my stuff. And it's just, I don't know. I'm probably going to have to get a little organizing cart. Y'all know those little three little organizing carts from like Michaels or you see them sometime in like Marshalls or something. I'm going to have to do that because girl, I can't find nothing up on my cabinet. Praise God for doors because mine is a hot mess. It's, it, it's everywhere. <laughs> and it's just a wonder I can find anything up under the doggone sink. And in the kitchen too, I had like a little bowl for like all my pampering stuff. You know, when I do my spas and stuff like that. How about that thing is running over? Then I got my cleaning products up under there. You know, it just it just ain't right. It ain't it ain't right. Yeah, that might be a video that I do because I got to come up with me a new system because it ain't, it ain't working good over here for you, girl. You know, it ain't really working out that great. So, yeah, I'm going to have to sit on the floor and probably have baby girl to help me because y'all know my right side is it's, it's on vacation still. It, it ain't can't, it, it act like you don't want to come back all together. But, um. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna think about that. Yeah, y'all y'all shoot me some more topics, cause like I said, I be I be running out, and I know y'all love. That's another thing. I know y'all love my shopping with me hygiene. But here's the thing: when I be doing my shopping hygiene, all the time I don't have a haul for y'all to see, cause I'm not that YouTuber that just go shopping just because. The way my bank account is set up, I can't just be really going shopping like every other day, buying stuff. When I go shopping, I buy stuff that I need. Like, I, I see, I, I'm more so stock up on stuff. When I shop, I shop like every two weeks. And I shop with stuff that I need. I can't just go out there. I like to do my shopping with me videos when I have a need to. But I know you guys love that. So if I don't do a haul on every video, y'all just know 
I don't need it. Yeah, it's only so many hygiene products you can get. And I and that's the thing. I love watching other hygiene videos because it's so it's so cool to me. But it's like all those products. It's like it's a whole store. I'm like, Jesus, if I keep going, my apartment gonna look like a whole store. But I can't just go out and be buying stuff like that. I can't do it. Maybe if I hit the lottery. But I probably wouldn't do it then because I'm I'm a creature of habit. I buy stuff. Like I said, I'm an extreme couponer. And I like to stock up on my stuff when I see deals. Like when I stock up on my detergent, when it's buy one, get two free. Or when it's at Target, you buy three and you get a $10 gift, gift card. That's how I like to stock up on my stuff. And then I like to use my products. See, that's the thing. I like to use my stuff so... I can give y'all an honest opinion. And a lot of times, I use the same product. So, it ain't nothing to give a review on. I guess that's what be confusing me. Because y'all know I love my um, my um, vitamin E and coconut um, body wash. I use that faithfully. Y'all already heard my review on that. Y'all know I love my um, Arm & Hammer detergent. That's not changing. I love my vinegar and, and, and um, baking soda. I love my um, Unstoppables in vinegar and water. So it's really not a lot that I do that changes. You know, every once in a while, I'll try to use something different. Like I tried that um, Degree soap. Everybody was raving about that. Girl, it didn't do nothing for me. I don't even think it got me clean. It's just in the scent went all that to me either. So I can't be switching up on stuff because when you get my age, and I'm not old, I'm 21 you know, in my mind, you know, in my mind. But when you can manage all that switching stuff, I can't do it because I tried the Aveeno facial wash and it broke me completely out. And it was for sensitive skin. And my face just didn't, it didn't like it. So I had to go back to what I know, clean and clear. Uh, when I try different soaps, I mean, I don't try different soaps down there because I always use sensitive down there. But when I try other soap for my body, it don't get me feel like it gets me clean. Like I love Dove products, all day products. I use the deodorant, the body wash, all that. But the soaps, they not strong enough. They just smell good and it's soft on your skin. That's about it. But as far as keeping the funk down, Dove soaps don't really do it for me. I love the smells of them because they all smell amazing. But I always have to go back to my old faithful Dow um, antibacterial soap, the white bar. And then y'all know my old faithful um, Irish Spring uh, body wash, the original scent for the backside. That's that's my routine. I mean, I don't, don't nothing really change. <laughs> don't nothing really change. But I think I'm going to show you guys uh, my five minute whole bath. If y'all around my age, y'all probably have heard y'all big mama, y'all grandma tell me that. But when I was a kid, my grandmother used to always say when she was in her, she was like, gal, go back there and take your whole bath right quick. Because in her house, she didn't have a, a, a full functioning bathroom. So her baths were in big, long foot tubs. So she would call them whole baths because a whole bath is pretty much you getting all the right spots. Did you use the... I use the uh, OGX, the yes, and the girl. I, I'm finna show y'all how much I got left. That's that's sad. Hold on. This is all I got left. I like this. I'm gonna restock on this. This it smells good and leave your skin soft. I like this one. But y'all know, I didn't even look at any of these other brands and scents because I didn't like the coffee one. I tried the coffee one earlier this year and I hated it. I didn't use the white dye soap. Yep. And see, I'm, I'm going to give y'all a backstory on why I have to use the antibacterial. Because y'all know, when I was young, I told you I was bullied and teased a lot about my scent. And it wasn't that I wasn't showering. I wasn't using the right deodorant. And then I wasn't using the proper soap. So, my mom took me to a doctor. And the doctor was the one that told me to use the Dial antibacterial soap uh, 
the the gold one and the white one. It has to be the antibacterial. It to me, it just gets me cleaner than any other soap. Yes, use this, you guys. I'm telling you, and it lathers up so good, y'all. When I tell you, hey, when I tell y'all this right here, girl, it have your whole bathroom smelling. That's how strong it is. Y'all know, y'all saw me last week on that video with my summer fragrances. It reminded me of my childhood because it smelled like that bubblegum medicine and it lathers really good. Now that coffee one like this, mm -mm. I can't do that coffee. I, I'm not even a coffee gal. But walking around every day smelling like some coffee, that ain't really sexy to me. It ain't cute to me. So I had to pass on that one because I'm telling you, everybody on YouTube was raving. They they don't they don't never say too much about this one. They always talk about the coffee one. I'm like, what y'all what y'all what y'all be doing? But you know, everybody is different. Everybody like their own stuff. So you have to just go with what works for you. But I'm telling you, when y'all try this. Yes, it's this, this rose water and pink sea salt. Girl, girl, what I tell you, it have you smelling like a whole snack. Shakita, Shaniqua, don't you get in no trouble now, because y'all know this smells really good, you know. Yeah, so, but that's what I'm saying, y'all. When I try different stuff, I like to use my stuff. I don't like just to be going out shopping just because. Now, when I have extra money to do so, yeah, I'll try something that I've been wanting to try or, or see some, especially like my perfumes. I'm starting to get into perfumes because for a while, you know, back in my younger day, I was a body mist girl. Perfume back then just used to make my nose burn. But now that I'm slowly building my perfume collection up and I, I know this video is about your home but i'm gonna tell you one that everybody was raving about and, and now that i have it i don't even like it y'all gonna y'all gonna probably laugh at me but this black opium you see it's still in the box don't you everybody in youtube is talking about how sick now i will say i got a lot of compliments on that i'm telling you when i when i went i went out to eat somewhere and my waiter, he just kept saying, oh, you smell so good. And I was like, damn, you talking about this? You know, I ain't say it, but I just said thank you. But I'm like, it don't smell all that to me. You know, I wear it in the fall because I, I can't wear it now. It, I like it because I can smell a hint of vanilla in it. But I want my money back. Because <laughs> I, I ain't used it but twice. I wish I knew somebody that want this because, girl, I don't like it no more. Y'all probably laugh at me, but I know this is probably y'all favorite, but I don't like it. I, it's just going to sit in my drawer because I don't, I don't like it. So, it is what it is. It's not my cup of tea. So, that's one I had to take a loss on. Um, but like I said, I was trying to. You know, try it out because y'all know I love things with vanilla in it, you know. And that's, that's funny, too, because when I was younger, I hated anything that smelled like um, vanilla. I'm using it with... Okay. Let me know how that works. Yeah. Yeah, y'all, I be seeing people mix they stuff together. And I'm starting to do that, but it's got to be the right one. I can't just mix everything together. But, yeah, that sounds like that's going to smell good. Oh, Latoya, you like you like the black opium? You you like the black opium? Is, is that what you're saying? Cause girl, you can have it. <laughs> I don't like it. I just mm mm. But that's the thing though. I don't know how I'm gonna get it to you because they won't let you um they won't let you mail perfume off, especially if it's got alcohol or something in it. Cause the girl that won the giveaway, I couldn't send her body mist off. I don't know how I'm going to get it to you. I'm going to ask my post office if I can mail, mail. But they wouldn't let me do the body wash for real. 